Hi, my name is Derek. I make the channel Veritasium, and today I want to talk to you about finding and engaging your biggest fans. My channel Veritasium is all about science. All different types of science, chemistry, physics, biology, though my specialty is physics. Sometimes I'm talking to people on the street about science, sometimes I'm talking to experts, other times I'm doing epic experiments. I think it's important for creators to care about their biggest fans because those are the people who will be sharing your content with all of their friends and helping your channel grow. So it's really important to keep an eye out for those people who are commenting on your videos, who are engaging with you on other social media platforms like Twitter and Facebook and Instagram, sometimes emailing you, right? These are your real advocates. These are the leaders in your community and you should embrace them and make sure they feel welcome. I think it's very important to have a positive community and sometimes you can get some negative comments on YouTube. In those cases, I think it's best to ignore them. But we all know that you shouldn't really feed the trolls and what you should just really encourage is the growth of a, a positive community and they will kind of take care of self-moderating. So they will make sure that those negative comments basically get drowned out in a sea of positive comments. So I think that's the best way to really build a positive community. If you want to turn the casual viewer into one of your biggest fans, the one thing that you can do is make amazing content. I think sometimes as a YouTuber, there is this feeling that you need to put something out to make sure that your channel is current, that there's always some new content being shown. But I think what's much more important is to make really awesome content, whatever that means to you, uh, whatever your fans really respond to. You know, for me, it's it's an epic science experiment or it's, it's something huge, something that people have never seen before. The more I can do of that, the more of these casual fans will become, you know, fanatics and that's what I wanna see. I think when a channel gets to be a certain size, there are so many comments that it's difficult to respond to everyone. So in those cases, I think it's important to respond to those comments which seem really genuine and they have, you know, for me, a particular scientific question uh, and, and the question seems to be insightful. If I see a question like that, I know someone has put in the effort to ask the question, then I will put in the effort to answer it. So you don't have to answer every, every comment. I mean, not every comment is meant to have an answer, but there are some that really look like someone has taken some time and has been thoughtful about it. And in those cases, I definitely make the effort to reply. When I was first starting my channel and it was much smaller, I know that I engaged a lot more with my fans. There were less comments on every video and I didn't have as much going on. So it made sense to really engage with these people. And I think they really appreciated that. And it made them feel like we had a community. And that's when that community started to grow. And eventually it got to this kind of size where if there were scientific questions, often someone else, another one of my community would get to, the, to that question and answer it before I could, which was really great because then you've got a community which is interacting with each other and they're all helping each other out. And it means that I have to do less in terms of maintaining that community because they're sort of helping each other. I hope you found that helpful. If you want to learn more, you can click on the annotation or if you want to see my channel, you can do that as well.